anything like this is an indication of pain and in humans, maybe insanity. Hey folks, welcome to Life on Beagle Road and the continuation of the longest. You asked for it, so today I'm gonna talk more about goats. The topic is five ways to tell your goat is in pain just by looking at them. Before we get into that, I did want to remind you of just a couple late summer goat tips. Number one, Make sure your goats have plenty of fresh water and don't be afraid to give them some electrolytes if need be. You can buy handy dandy little packets at uh, your local farm store and dump it in their water. Helps to keep them well hydrated in these high heat times of year. And don't forget your bucks right now. They are either in rut or coming into rut and it is incredibly hard on their bodies. I've said before, they cannot think about or take care of anything other than mating right now. So it's easy for them to get a parasite overload. It's easy for them not to eat enough. It's easy for them to get dehydrated. So make sure you're keeping an eye on those crazy bucks. Even I have my electrolytes today because it is brutally hot and I am sweating into my eyeballs. Let's start with a little review about goats that will help to make sense of why it can be so hard to tell when your goat is in pain. Goats are herd and prey animals in the wild, so they're very good at hiding pain. They hide their pain and illness very well because they don't want to look like the weakest in the herd. They don't want to look like the weakest in the herd to the rest of their herd, and they certainly don't want to look like the weakest in the herd to predators. So keep that in mind when you're looking at your animals. It's also incredibly important that to recognize pain in your animals, you have to know what their normal temperament and day-to-day -day behavior is like. So that means that you've got to spend a little time every day observing your animals and understanding what normal goat is for them. Oh, here's a great topic that we should talk about. The difference between miniature goats and full goats going into heat. Um, miniature goats going into heat all year round every 18 to 24 days. Um, after 21, so you can breed miniature goats all year round. Your full size goats, like my beautiful Nubian here, um, they have to be bred in season. So they'll go into heat. Seriously, Kenny, did you just do that to me? That was important information. People need to know. Fine, let's get on topic. The five ways to know that your goat is in pain just by looking at them. Number one is your goat is off alone, away from the herd and doesn't come running for food. As we just discussed, goats are herd animals. So if they are not with their herd, that is an immediate sign for concern. Now, of course, you know, they walk around, they're not always like right next to each other, but if you come to the pasture and all of your goats come running because they're used to being fed, they're used to being cutted, they're used to getting scratches on their head, and a goat doesn't come, that, is concerning. If you haven't gotten out feed yet, go do that. Get out feed, see if they come then. If they're not even coming for feed, I am really concerned. Goats have a very high metabolism, so they are always hungry, always. This is definitely a sign that something is wrong with your goat. Unfortunately, it's not a sign that tells us really anything about what is wrong. It could be almost anything, but it is a huge indicator that something is up and you've got to check it out. I'll be making a second video talking about what you should do about all these, but Kenny told me I can't talk for an hour straight about all this goat stuff. People get bored. I think he's wrong, but whatever. The second way to tell that your goat is in pain is that they are standing hunched up. I'll show you what I mean. A healthy, happy goat is going to stand like this. Really, Zipper? And like I said, they're going to get in your face. If your goat's standing more like this, that's a bad sign. They're in pain. They're cold. Something's going on. The hunched appearance can't tell us exactly what's wrong, but again, definite sign something is up. The third way to tell that your goat is in pain, teeth grinding. You ever grind your teeth because you're in emotional pain? 
Yeah, I do. Goats grind their teeth because they're in physical pain. Or I guess they could also be in emotional pain. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a goat. Teeth grinding is a definite sign of pain. Could be bloat. Could be, you know, if they're pregnant, they could be going into labor. Again, do you know what I'm going to say about teeth grinding? Doesn't tell us what's wrong, but it's a sure sign something is. Hi. The fourth sign that your goat is in pain is they are not eating or drinking. You know, maybe they came over when you fed them, but not interested in the food, not really eating hay, not drinking. Uh, a goat that's not eating or drinking is definitely in pain. Could be illness, could be bloat, again, could be a lot of things. But think about when you don't want to eat. Maybe your stomach hurts. Maybe something else hurts so bad that you've lost your appetite. Goats have an incredibly high metabolism and water is essential to their diet. Duh, because there's a lot of creatures where water isn't essential to their diet. I mean, that might be the dumbest thing I've ever told you. Water's important for maintaining life. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Information you didn't know prior to this video. Hi, baby. Hi. A goat wants to eat all the time. Day, night, hot, cold, anytime, all of the time. Goats want to eat like Kenny wants to eat Oreos. I will say in a super hot spell like this, I don't see the goats up and eating all the time in the middle of the day. Maybe they're napping in the middle of the day because they're just trying to stay cool. Uh, Rumens produce heat. Rumens produce heat, so that's a reason not to eat in the middle of the day, the hottest part of the day when you're a goat. To that same notion, that is also why they eat so much in the winter. Their rumen warms them up. See, I did share something with you that maybe you didn't know before this video, like water is important to sustain life. Last one is going to be hard to show you because no one is in actual pain and they're not going to want to do this, but I'm going to try. The fifth way to tell that your goat is in pain is they are standing with their head against a wall. Let's show people, Scout. Show them. Show them what you would do if your head hurt. Like that. Okay, I think you get the idea because Scout is a good helper, but I'm going to show you exactly what I mean. See, forehead against a wall, tree, fence, anything like this is an indication of pain. And in humans, maybe insanity. Stay tuned for when I tell you guys I have poison ivy on my forehead. A special thanks to all of my goat friends who helped make this video. As you can tell, none of them are in acute pain. Sometimes they are in acute pain. <laughs> Little goat humor there for you. Let's review those ways to tell your goat is in pain just by looking at it. Number one, the goat is alone. Number two, the goat is standing hunched up. Number three, there's teeth grinding. Number four, not eating or drinking. And finally, number five, head pressed against a wall, a tree, a fence, any flat area like that. Right, girl? That's how to tell if you're in pain, right? You're not in pain though. Click on this video below to learn more about goats. I love talking about goats and you love listening to it. See you next time.